Welcome to our lesson. We're looking at the pedagogy of chaos. Chaos is an extremely powerful pedagogy. It's all about helping our students make sense of the world we live in. A world that has increasingly become known as the big data world. That means there is so much data that we are generating constantly. And there is incredible insights to be had if we learn how to analyze that data. There are many incredible apps that we can use to help make this not only simpler, but a lot of fun. And what we want to have a look at in today's lesson, as we look at the pedagogy of chaos and trying to make sense of too much data or conflicting data or data that's even got missing parts to it, we're going to be looking at word clouds. Word clouds are a fun and easy way to get a quick sense of what something is saying. It's a great way to encourage our students to start to look for patterns, to start to get a sense of what the data is suggesting or what the text is saying. So rather than being totally overwhelmed, word clouds provide a great way to get our students into learning through the pedagogy of chaos. So in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at wordclouds.com. There are many great online word cloud generators. A word cloud generator essentially takes a whole series of words and tries to create a visual representation of them. The larger the word, the more frequently it occurs. So that gives you a great insight into what are the key aspects of whatever it is you're trying to analyze. So let's have a look at how we can use wordclouds.com. So it's wordclouds.com, very simple site, and there are a number of ways in which we can use it. So across the top here, we have a number of options, and we are going to start with the file option first. You have various ways in which you can get the text that you want analyzed into word clouds. You can open a URL, you can paste your text in directly, you can even open Office documents, PDFs, etc. So there are a whole lot of ways in which you can get the source document in. So I'm going to take a quick example of opening URL. So I have an article that I wrote recently about apps that are great to keep our kids thinking and learning. So let's have a look at what is the essence of that. So I'll copy that URL, click open URL and paste it in. Right, in a matter of seconds, what will happen is a word cloud is generated and immediately we can get a sense of what this is about. So we can immediately see, well, this article is predominantly dealing with things around kids, apps, Obviously, other key words, maybe not as big as, as learning. Uh, I can see fun appearing there. Uh, I can see thinking and developing. It deals with iOS and Android, I can see. It's technology. It's about conversation. So just by doing that, which was so quick, we get a very quick insight into what that article is about. So it's a great way to give our kids a quick insight into some of the key themes that are emerging. But I want to show you how we can push this a lot further and make it a lot more interesting. But this time, we're going to, rather than simply use a URL, which is one possibility, I would like us to paste some text in. I have the famous speech of Martin Luther King Jr. And I'm going to be using that and analyzing what was the essence of his speech. So I'm going to choose paste type text and I'm going to paste in Martin Luther King's speech into here and hit apply. Now, obviously, the, the longer the text, the longer it may take to analyze it, but it normally doesn't take more than a couple of moments. So let's see what are the key themes that emerge out of Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous speech. Right, so here we see them starting to pop up immediately. We're seeing key themes, freedom, dream. Obviously, I have a dream, the famous speech. We see a big word here is will. Now, obviously, that's not really a key word in the speech. So I want to show you how you can remove. Now, generally, what word clouds will do, they will remove common words like the, uh, and, but, etc. But sometimes there are other words that also potentially are not useful. So what we can do is we can go back and right at the top here, you will see there's a thing that says word list. It lists all the words and how many times they recur in the speech. So we can easily page through this and see what all the words are. 
Uh, if we want to get rid of any word, you can simply click on it, and I'm going to take that word out because I don't want it represented in my word cloud. And you simply hit apply. Once you've done that, hit close, and it's going to regenerate the word cloud. Now we're going to notice that word is gone. More important words are now coming out. It's all about the nation. It's about freedom. It was about the Negroes. It was about dream, justice, together. What a great way for our students to get a quick and easy insight into what Martin Luther King's speech was about. But it can be even more fun than that. What you can do is there are options to either play with the colors, or if you want quick and easy ways, there are themes. You can choose any particular theme, and it's going to make this look a lot more interesting. Now it's starting to look interesting. We're getting some color into our representation. But even more fun can be had because you can choose shapes. So at the moment we're sitting on some sort of star shape here, you can choose any shape that you like. Maybe we would like to indicate that this is a speech. And so I have chosen the speech sort of bubble and it sort of tries to rearrange it so that it looks like a speech call out. There are a whole lot of options here and this is where your students can have lots of fun. They can choose to portray it as a certain letter, maybe it's M for Martin, or you can even choose to portray it as one of these more colorful things, in which case it's going to pick up the colors. Maybe this is all about an exciting future dream. It's about the rainbow, where we want things, a rainbow nation. And so we could regenerate it as a rainbow. It's quite nice because you can see that's flicked out of the rainbow are some of the key words dream today ring nation come these are key themes of martin luther king's speech so this really is a simple way whereby our students can very easily get a sense of what are the key words and they can be further analyzed as i said you can go up and you can look at your word list to get details and there are a whole lot of other options at the end of the day, your students can then obviously save this as an image or as a PDF and can share it with you. So these are word clouds, a very useful and simple and fun way of getting a quick insight into content that possibly at first sight might be overwhelming. So lots of opportunities. This could be done with any text. It could be done with the latest news. It could be done with the famous speeches we did here. It could be done with some literature. You could stick a chapter of Shakespeare. In fact, you could put all of Shakespeare through it if you liked. Very exciting way for your students to get a quick insight and be involved themselves in trying to make sense of what at first glance may appear to be chaotic. So that is the activated classroom teaching approach, pedagogy of chaos and using word clouds.